Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to the channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, go ahead and like, share, and comment. So today I wanna to talk to you guys about how I contracted COVID-19 and spread it to my husband and my daughter. So I came back from Ghana Wednesday morning. Um, and you know, I was fine. Um, as you guys can see in the videos, I was fine. I was, I had no sniffles, no fever, no cough. I was fine. Right? So this is Wednesday. Um, Thursday morning, I went out with my kids, went jogging, walking around the block. Um, Friday, I was fine. Um, Saturday, I started feeling a little kind of weird, right? Um, I started feeling, you know how you feel when you're start, when you're coming down with like a, um, like a cold, you know, you kind of get that, um, even before you start getting the sniffles, you just, your body just feel tired, kind of like worn out, kind of fatigued. So I just, I just pretty much thought this is kind of like me being jet lagged from, um, from Wednesday, because when I when I got back home, I didn't stop. I was just kind of like I was cleaning, I was cooking, I was doing I was doing a lot. So I just I, I just felt like my body was just shutting down from doing so much. But that wasn't the case. That was that was COVID nineteen. That was my my first reaction to contracting COVID nineteen. So that was Saturday. So I you know I I I, I drank some tea, took some vitamins. Um, some immune defense, um, defense mechanisms, you know, vitamin C's, all of that. Um, Sunday, Sunday morning, I was feeling like, like I, I, my body ached so bad, my back especially, like my entire back, my lower back felt like it was going to cave in. Um, um, I still didn't have like sniffles or anything like that. So this was kind of like, you know, I, I, I just thought, just all the work that I was doing from when I got back, you know, when you, when you like the running, cleaning out the, the, the house from being gone for so many months, I just thought, okay, my body aches from that. Um, and so Monday I, I, I started getting, you know, some headaches and, um, a, a, kind of like a, a light cough. So at this particular time, I'm still not thinking COVID-19 because again, I don't get sick, right? That's the mentality that a lot of us kind of have when we, you know, when we catch a cold or, you know, we just, I don't get sick. So I can just take some medicines at home and it, this would take care of it. And, but that wasn't the case. I, I you know, I had COVID-19 and, um, and so, um, I was home for about a week, um, a week and a half, you know, just thinking, okay, there's just a cold at, at best, maybe a flu, I'll get over it. Right. Um, and then I, I realized that I, I wasn't getting over it. And at this particular time, I had already, my husband had, you know, caught it as well because he was feeling sick with the sniffles and everything. But at the point, at that particular time, I, we, we, I thought we both had the flu, right? So, um, you know, I, we just kind of like stayed away from the kids I never, never did I think it was COVID. Although my husband kind of, he kind of, he, I think he kind of knew that it was, but I don't know if he, want, he didn't want to scare me or what the case may be, but he, I think he had an idea that it was. Um, and so he, he actually, he got a little, he got better before I did, but um, I was just, it was just my back. I, it was just the, the fever, the chills, my back. Um, and after a week and a half, when I wasn't getting any better, I just, just decided, you know, let me just go to the emergency room because I don't think this is the flu. You know, I've had the flu once no, two other times in my life, and it didn't feel like this. After a couple of days, three, four days, you start to feel better, right? So when I wasn't feeling better, I just immediately decided that I was, I was going to, you know, head to the emergency room and see what was happening with me. So at this time, before I went to the emergency room, I was having, um, I think this is what prompted me to go to the emergency room besides my back and this constant headache that wouldn't go away was this cough. So I had this cough that it wasn't, um, and this is how I kind of knew too that I'm, that it might just be COVID. It was like a cough that, like I would cough, but it would it, it wouldn't be any phlegm coming out, right? So it was like a dry cough that would kind of hurt a little bit. Like if I would inhale, um, if I would do like a, a deep in, in, inhale, 
um, it would it would feel like cold air kind of going into my chest. So I, it was just I, at this point, I'm like, OK, let me just go see what's happening with me. So I went to the emergency room and they confirmed that it was actually COVID-19. Um, and so um, because of the cough and how I was feeling in my chest, they decided to to um, keep me for a couple of days just to um, um, just to make sure that it wasn't. Um, a severe case of COVID-19. They didn't, they didn't check my husband and he was, he was fine. Like he, that is the strangest thing with men. I don't know if it's just my husband, but he, when he gets sick, he's still able to move around and, and like, it, it doesn't knock him down. Like me, because I, I, I don't get sick. So when I do get sick, it's like, I don't know if I just exaggerate or it's just, I completely shut down. And so I ended up being in the hospital for about three days. Um, <clears throat> and they, you know, of course they were asking me a lot of questions like, you know, have you recently traveled? And I told them I did. Um, and then, you know, they asked me where, when I told, it's funny because like, um, the perception of Africa still in some people's minds still hasn't changed because like when I would mention to them that I, you know, I, I recently traveled to, to Africa, they would be like, Oh, Africa, really? You know? I don't know, but that's just some of the perception in some of these people's minds, and it's unfortunate. But uh, <clears throat> one of the doctors that I that I got, um, you know, he was really nice and very thorough. He he suggested that I do um, a, a couple of tests. This was before we found out that it was COVID, you know, because I, you know, I didn't have the severe symptoms of COVID, so they thought maybe it was malaria or maybe I got bit by some unknown. Uh, bug or um, they they just wanted to make sure that it wasn't anything other than COVID. So I, they test they tested me for everything and um, everything came back negative. I didn't have malaria. I didn't have anything. I didn't have anything that they would um, think it's from Africa. Um, and so the only thing that came back positive was that I had was that I had COVID nineteen. And so with that, it kind of um, they kind of got an, an understanding as to why I was having that um, cough that was making my chest kind of hurt a bit. Um, and so they kept me in the house for about three days. Um, they didn't give me any medication because again, I didn't have a severe case of it. Um, what they did give me um, because I was in bed for those for, 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 for that time, they gave me some blood thinners, which I refused. Um, they gave it to me one time and then I just, I was, I'm not really one of those that like, that take medicine or anything like that. Um, and so I just kind of refuse it. Um, my kids always make fun of me that that's probably why I stay so young because I'm not a big medication person. Um, but I refuse it. I, I did take it the first time, but, um, I, I refuse it the other times. They also gave me, um, for the severe headaches, they gave me what some kind of, uh, Motrin or Tylenol. They gave me Tylenol, I think it was, but a little bit like a higher dose of it. I took it the first time when I realized that it just wasn't helping my headache, that it was still consistent. Um, I just decided not to take it because if it's not helping, then what's the purpose of me taking it, right? So I stopped that as well. And then um, that was it. That was the only medication that they, they, they gave me. They gave me some fluids. They said I was dehydrated because I wasn't able to, to drink anything because I just, I, it just, I just didn't have an appetite. Um, and it's funny because like I said, with all the symptoms of COVID, I didn't have any of that. I didn't, like I didn't lose my sense of smell. I didn't lose my sense of taste. I didn't have any of those symptoms that, that would make me um, run to the emergency room and say, hey, I have COVID. And that's why I was home for like a week and about a, almost two weeks really thinking it's just the flu that I'll just kind of, you know, get over it. And so after three days, you know, they did my vitals, checked my blood again, um, and I was fine to go home. And so, you know, I, I came home and I quarantined for another uh, week or so. And then, and, you know, and then I was fine. My husband was fine as well. Um, but then I decided to get the kids tested because being home for the week, for, for almost two weeks, not knowing that I had COVID, I did have contact with them, even though I, you know, I was wearing the mask um, just so they wouldn't, you know, catch the flu that I thought I had. Um, but so I, we did decide to get the kids tested. And when we got the kids tested, Leah, who is my oldest daughter, was um, taking care of me while I was sick at home, you know, bringing me my tea and, you know, my crackers, just 
kind of giving me fluids and water, you know, helping me get better because I thought I had the flu, right? Um, so she eventually, she unfortunately, I should say, um, contracted COVID-19. and So unfortunately, she contracted COVID-19, but everybody is doing well. The two little ones were fine. Um, everyone is good. My son, um, he he's always out and he really doesn't think COVID is like a, a big deal. So he, he's, he's never gotten sick and um, thank God for that. He's okay. Um, so right now we are all good, but that was how I got COVID-19. And so when I think back as to when I caught COVID, I, 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 I don't know because the time frame is so weird. I think that like when I think back, I think that I had it when I was in Ghana, right? Because the incubation period, I took the test on Saturday and got it back on Tuesday. So let's just say three days when he did the test, it came back negative, right? So as either I had COVID, but it hadn't been like they weren't able to see it from the test because I understand that when you when you catch COVID, it takes a while for your test to actually come back positive for COVID. It, it'll take a couple of days. So I'm not sure if I caught COVID um, while I was in Ghana or I caught it in the in the airports or possibly the plane. Based on the time time period, I think either I caught it right right before I took that COVID test in Ghana or I caught it in the on the plane. Either or. Um, I'm I'm still not sure how I caught it because when I when I got back to New York, um, I didn't really do much. I didn't I didn't I didn't go anywhere. I think the only place that I went to, I went to, I did go to Walmart. I went to Walmart. Um, I went to Walmart and I went to Aldi's. But when I went, it was super early in the morning. This is before anyone was there. I you know so I was socially dis distancing. I had my face mask on. So I don't think I caught it from those stores. I, I truly believe that it might have been from either the airplane or a few days before I took the COVID test in Ghana. But thankfully, everyone is fine. I'm doing fine. My husband's fine, and the kids are also doing fine. Um, yeah, it, it, it was a it was a bit scary at first because when I wasn't able to breathe, it was a little scary. So that's how I caught COVID. And um, so if you guys like this video, please like, share and subscribe.